Report status final. Patient information, Vergara Joshua, aged 24. March 2014. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And in my hand, I hold the piece of paper that completely changed my life. It was in particular one line here that says hemoglobin A1C. That is the measurement that doctors use in order to figure out what your blood sugar averaged over the last 90 days. According to the American Diabetes Association, it's supposed to be under seven. I was definitely over that. I remember when this happened too, uh, our family physician called my parents in the dead of night and said, we have to talk. The next day I went to uh, his practice and in deep denial that I even had this condition, I was prescribed a bunch of medication and uh, hopefully it was going to control what I had or what I have, which is this type two diabetes. I've learned a lot since then. Uh, it's been four plus years and obviously I've made a lot of changes uh, to my lifestyle, whether it be through diet, exercise, stress management, or anything like that uh, in order to keep my blood sugar at a good level. Now I have been able to get this number down to a significant degree. It's by far not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was before and it has never been this bad since. But after learning what good blood sugar felt like, I realized that I think I've had this condition for many years before this diagnosis. I think back to my years in college and I think about mood swings and I remember times when I just did not feel like on a consistent basis that I had enough energy, that I was forcing myself every single day. And those are kind of the hallmarks of really high blood sugar. Because after all, with high blood sugar, your blood literally becomes thick and it also becomes toxic to you. So if you're trying to perform every single day to your highest ability, then you're doing so under great amounts of stress. And if you have a condition like this and you don't even realize it and it's not being controlled, you think that that is just normal. When in reality, normal could be so much better. And it's with all of that that I kind of ask you the question. What if I told you that by changing a few habits, whether it be what you eat, uh, the way that you move every day uh, in terms of exercise, if you just change certain parts about your daily life, that you could be a better father, a better parent, a better mother, a better student, the way that I wish I was in college if I had known about this, uh, a better athlete even, um, a better person overall. And it's with that that I welcome you to this new segment here on my channel called Type 2 Foodie. So the term obviously has a bunch of implications. I, as a type two diabetic, am going to share my journey, not only the journey that I have already uh, been on with this condition, but also everything moving forward. Um, all of the things that I do in order to be a healthier version of myself and hopefully will help people like you be healthier versions of yourselves. I'm no expert whatsoever, and if my advice or if what I do does nothing for you, then that's fine. But I firmly believe that uh, the things that I have done in order to control my diabetes could help pretty much anybody be healthier, even to a small extent, but still, even a small extent of being healthier is still a healthier you. And on top of that, I've always wanted to do food content here on my channel, and this is my way of doing so. I'm going to be sharing every Friday one facet of health that I have been able to uh, experience and that I believe helped me, whether it be recipes or different steps that I have to make uh, when I go out in order to have better food or better versions of the food that I love having. Uh, maybe I'll share a few insights on exercise, on stress management, or any of those things. It's all part of the type two foodie lifestyle. Speaking of diet in particular, I will say that I usually prescribe to more low carb diets. I am currently on the keto diets, but I have done paleo in the past. There's no one diet that is perfect for everybody, uh, but for diabetics, I do think that a lower carb or at least managed carbohydrate intake is very important to have. And I do think that it could benefit a lot of other people as well. And honestly, right now, it's an incredible time to be a health nut of sorts because there's so many resources out there. Obviously, there are a billion points of information out on the internet and you can pick any one of those and experiment with them to see if it would help you. Uh, but also, if you go to places like Costco, a wholesale uh, market, you would be able to see that health items are becoming more prevalent in places like that. Not to mention the fact that we have uh, places like Sprouts and Whole Foods popping up in more places. This is actually a perfect example. Uh, a very popular health brand called Quest recently came out with these pizzas and they're low carb, uh, only six net carbs per serving. It's, uh, it's really awesome that they were able to do that. Uh, so products like this are coming out more and more often these days. And uh, this one in particular, yes, I'm going to review it as part of type two foodie. 
But even then, being healthy doesn't have to be a super expensive endeavor, and I will be sharing my recipes and sharing my ways of being able to enjoy things and what foods that I eat uh, while still maintaining a budget. What matters are just those little shifts that you can make in order to have every single day be a little bit healthier. So in giving my diabetes manifesto, if you wanna call it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start doing these Friday segments and share with you what it's like to be a type two foodie. And I hope that we all will become type two foodies in one way or another. Um, all of the information that I'm going to share is fun for me to give to you. And if it doesn't really help you a whole lot, hopefully at least you enjoy what I present. And if it does benefit you, then that's gonna make me even happier because as I say after most of my videos, we're all gonna grow together. So as always, thank you so much for watching and every Friday, hopefully you will be able to join me on my journey of being a type two foodie. You can also follow type two foodie over on Instagram. Yes, it's a completely different Instagram profile that will focus on this type of topic. Uh, you'll get a lot of food pictures on there, maybe some recipes. Um, I will be posting on there as much as possible on top of the structured content that I try to do every Friday here. After all, it would be type two foodie Friday. So in order to follow all of that, make sure you follow type two foodie on Instagram and subscribe to my channel channel here where you can find all of my general tech videos, my vlogs, and now type two foodie content. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell on the side so you can see whenever I do videos, which is hopefully every weekday, which is what I'm striving for. And from there, you can get into the comment sections down below and give me your journey in health that maybe you would want to parallel with mine. And again, we're all gonna grow together. So make sure you stay tuned and remember to enjoy your tea, everybody.